my beautiful Virgos. Welcome, welcome. This is your February 2023 monthly general guidance with me, Julie Paul. Thank you for being here. Um, we're going to be pulling a couple of oracle cards for you to get the themes for the month. And then we're going to use two tarot decks to clarify Everything you need to know is in the description box, including how to book in with me. My new book, oh, so excited. My new podcast, oh, so excited again. And also my daughter's new tarot channel, if you want to check it out. Livingstone Tarot, it's brand new. Be lovely if you gave us some support. Um, also, lots of different products I use, including the cards that I use are all linked below. All right, so this is good for my fellow Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross-watching. All right. So from the animal cards, you know, that's the fourth time this has come out out of six. You have got Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive. There is something going on when this card has come out for so many different signs. And it's basically saying, look, most of us live our life on the surface, just getting through each day on that hamster wheel, just you know, not really assessing, not really feeling, not really going into, is this what I want? Is this right for me? Um, do I want something new? It keeps coming out because we're in a brand new year. The vibration and the energy is raising and we want to raise our game to kind of keep up with it so that we don't get left behind. And because of that, sense of raising the game. I want to raise my expectations. I want more for myself. This isn't greedy. This is expansion and growth. So for us to be able to even contemplate what more do I want for myself, I need to do a deep dive. I need to go into myself and really look at my life on every level. Am I really happy and satisfied with that? And then not in a sense that you then kind of go, oh, my life's pretty crappy, really. But in terms of that bit could work a bit better. What can I do about it? So that you're homing in on the areas that you want to improve. So that swan spirit time for a deep dive is saying it's time to look at life. All right, that's the animal oracle. This one is the Australian animal oracle. And you've got, I think you pronounce this chicada timing. I'm not Australian, I'm in the UK, so we don't have this. I don't think we have it in the UK. Uh, I think it's pronounced Chicada. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's all about timing. Timing, timing, divine timing. So let's find out some more. Is the time now or are we needing to wait? Let me bring the camera down so that we can find out a bit more. I've got my microphone a bit closer to me because it was a bit echoey earlier when I had it a bit further away. So you can see the base of it. I hope it's not too distracting, but it does make the sound quality a little better for you. All right. And you know us Virgos, we like everything just so. <laughs> All righty, tell me more for my Virgo. See, there we go. That has popped out quite a few times too. The Four of Cups, that's the card of dissatisfaction. That's the card that says, I want more. I want more. Hang on, you can't quite see it there. That's better. All right, let's get the cards out and then we'll discuss. So we've got Temperance. I want more balance. We've got the Queen of Cups. I want to feel calm and safe and in a good place. We've got the Fool for this new beginning. Wow. We've got the Judgment card, which is rising up definitely into a new beginning. And we've got the King of Swords. All right. Let's pause there for a moment. Let's have a look at this. Wow. Okay. So let's show you this first of all so you can see it a bit clearer. Time for a deep dive. We're going within. Number 60. Six is all about that inner self, okay? And the timing. The timing needs to be right. I'm going to pull a clarifier on the timing card, please. Is this divine timing or is this saying the time is now? Can you tell me a little bit more about timing, please? Okay, there's the six of cups. Very similar here, yeah? This is about going within, really asking myself what I want. Tell me about the timing. It's soul timing and the time is now. The Knight of Swords is the fastest moving 
night in the deck and it's communication it's clarity it's making things happen by talking about them by taking action like sending emails letters phone calls making things happen all right so the time is now my virgos the time is now it's all happening now okay i thought it probably would be because we've got the fool and we've got the judgment but i just wanted to clarify are we working towards this or are we in it now and we're in it now all right Probably why I've got my new podcast and my new book all happening at the end of January, because this energy for February that we're in here is this is the time to make the dreams reality. This is the time to make things happen because we haven't been satisfied. There might be a few people who every single area of their life is just perfect. I don't know any. Do you? <laughs> let's assume that every area of your life could you know not perhaps be perfect or as perfect as you would like it to be whether it is in your relationships your health your fitness your well-being your job your income your home your neighborhood your community whatever area it is for you this is a card of saying it's not as i thought it would be it's not as good as i thought it would be i want more I am dissatisfied. This is also a card of boredom and stagnancy. Yeah, we are beings that grow and evolve on a regular basis. You know, we go into a new job, we learn it, we flourish, we thrive for a while, then we've learned it. We know everything about it. It's boring now. It's time for us to move on to something else, to move up, to expand, to grow. So we want more. And in that more, we want balance. We've got the temperance card there, major arcana. You've got three major arcana cards in this row of six here. This is significant shifts and changes, not little changes, big changes. All right. So the temperance is also about timing, but it's bringing your heaven into earth as above, so below. It's about bringing everything into harmony and balance and moderation difficult for Virgos. I know. We tend to go everything at 150%. We overgive. We work too hard. We don't take enough time for ourselves. This is the time that we bring everything into balance, okay? So we want a life that's beautiful and balanced and harmonious. So the temperance card is harmony, as is the queen of cups. This is very much about being emotionally in a good place, yeah? That no matter what's going on around you, you're in a good place, emotionally, mentally. You feel good, your energy's good, you're calm, you're compassionate and loving with yourself and with others. You've done that deep dive. You've really looked at what you want and now you can create it. We can't create that which we don't know what we want. We need to set the goal. We need to align with the goal. I talk about this a lot in my new book, how to do all of this. So you're aligning with that and then you are in that creation mode of taking a leap of faith to allow the new beginning to come in because you're ready. That judgment card is saying, tick, 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 done that, learned that, done that. Now it's time for more. Now it's time for me to rise, rise like the phoenix, rise out of the ashes, rise into something bigger, better, brighter. And it doesn't have to be rising out of the ashes. Your life might not be in ashes. Your life might be OK, pretty good. But we're rising into more, higher, better. Look at all this blue here on this corner, right? The king of swords. The, the blue of the judgment, blue is all about communicating, it's the throat chakra and it's also the third eye. I've got my insight, I, I feel it, I trust it, I'm in my intuition and I'm moving it forward. Now the king of swords can be an expert, can be a lawyer, can be a mentor, but it's very much about integrity, very Virgo, integrity, honesty, clarity, focus and clear communication. So reaching out to somebody to help you with this timing, okay? So this could be a new job. So you might be reaching out to a recruiter. This might be a new mortgage. You're reaching, reaching out to a new lender, new mortgage lender or the bank saying, I want to get a better deal. I want to get a better rate or I'm ready for my own home. I'm fed up of renting. I want my own place. Whatever this is for you, as we move Towards Pisces season, I would say the second half of February here, we are stepping into this new, new, new. 
okay it feels to me very strongly as we get into airy season which is around the 20th of march i think yeah i think it is yeah um that there is a brand new astrological year coming in with very fast energy from march so we want to get everything ready in february for that energy to come in as we move towards march and the new astrological year they're just talking to me about the chinese new year as well and i think that's coming in pretty soon so um, everything is new, 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 and we have that confirmed here. So that deep dive is making sure that you know exactly what you want and you're moving towards the right things that you want and not the wrong things that you don't want, okay? Because we create our reality always. It may not be the reality we want to create, but we are creating it. Okay, I'm going to take those together under that Four of Cups. Okay, let's get all the cards out before we chat. So we've got the four of uh, five of wands there with the knight of cups. This is the legacy, divine legacy, by the way, Marchetti. Seven of cups, choices, options. King of coins, lovely. We like to see the king of coins and the king of cups. We're in our mastery here. Three of cups, celebrations. One more, please. That one. Oh, two more. Okay. All right. We've got the two of wands and the three of coins. Let's squidge them in there for a minute. All right. Now, Virgo, we're moving towards this new beginning. We've worked out what we want. Now, that's going to create, for some of you, potentially a little bit of conflict. The five of wands can be arguments. Now, you can be arguing with yourself, um, telling yourself, oh, that'll never work. What do I want to do that for? That's stupid. Or it could be that you have communicated this because we've got the Knight of Cups here saying, look, I want to bring in an offer. And you're saying to people because of all this communication here, um, I'm opening up for a new offer, a new opportunity that's going to bring me something where I'm more satisfied. And they could be saying to you, you're right where you are. What are you doing? Stay where you are. It's safe. You know, you know what you're doing there. So there could be people pushing up against you here, but just you do you. OK, you do you, Virgo. That Knight of Cups is saying there's offers here. There's opportunities for greater happiness that want to come in. Don't let any sense of it'll never happen or I'm not good enough, because that five of wands can also talk about low self-worth, self-doubt, imposter syndrome, all of that. And that's quite a Virgo trait as well, isn't it? So we want to get rid of that and let's acknowledge I deserve something better. I'm ready. Timing is now. And so I'm absolutely looking at all my options and choices. The seven of cups can be confusion. There's too many options or choices. But as we work through them, the pros and cons of what feels right and what what's going to get me where I want to be, then you're able to let fall away those bits that you don't want. They'll fall away. It'll be OK. So you're moving towards this in a very empowered way, this new beginning. We've got two kings side by side, king of cups and the king of coins. So he king of coins is prosperous financially secure and we're earth signs and we like to know that we're in a safe secure place financially yeah so you're moving towards greater financial abundance and you're doing it from a place where it's going to feel very solid and very secure and long lasting because the king of cups is not only emotionally mature and very calm you know it doesn't matter what drama's going on around him he doesn't buy into the drama he just stays focused but he's sat and led so this is about that stability and security in life that you want and deserve so you are moving towards it all right. We've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So those of you who are open to love and this is a focus on the partnership, this is coming together. This could be a good month for you if you're single to meet somebody because this is divine counterparts. For those of you coupled up, you're moving together as one, as a partnership. Right. Because we've got the three of coins over here, which is partnerships. So. There is a strong energy here of moving towards something new, which is going to bring you more fulfillment, more enrichment. I get the sense here that February is preparing everything and you're just beginning to step into this new energy towards the end of February. But I feel it's really going to start taking off in March. 
February to April feels a strong time for Virgos of pushing things forward, promoting you, promoting your dreams, your aspirations, your goals. This is what I want. I'm going for it. Yeah. Now, in this last bit here, we have got the Three of Cups, which is celebration, with the Three of Coins, which is partnership and collaborations, and the Two of Swords, which is, I don't know, I'm not sure. Is this what I want? Is this not what I want? How's this going to work? All the questioning, because the Two of Swords says, I don't have all the information right now. Now, we can sometimes be OK with that and just say, well, it'll unfold when we can step into trust and going with the flow. We'll say, well, we haven't got all the information right now, but it's coming and it'll unfold. Or we can stress and panic because we haven't got enough information. Our choice. So I would suggest you just try to step into the flow. This is a card of doing some research, finding out. Right. Maybe you need to talk to somebody because it's under the King of Swords. As I talk to somebody who's an expert and I communicate clearly, then I get the information that I need so that I have got all the information. So there is a sense here of reaching out so that you can have more information and you are then working in that energy with this expert, with this mentor as a partner. All right. So I'm partnering up with a mortgage provider. I'm partnering up with a recruitment agent. I'm partnering up with a realtor if I want to move house. I'm finding the support that I need to bring my dreams to fruition. There is the celebration. It's a celebration of this something new. This something new is not negative. This something new, whatever it is for you, is positive. It's going to make you feel really good and really uplifted. And we're getting out of that four of cups space of me yeah, yeah, it'll do and we're saying no i'm having something better all right you know that saying this or something better that's what we want to step into thank you for the life i already have but something better this or something better and i am ready the timing is now and i am moving into the something better so that's lovely let's get an angel card to finish off virgo final message for my virgos please there we go. Growing. See, I told you, you're growing, you're expanding, you are shifting, you are moving up, you are growing. We're seeing a rose on this card because roses grow so, so fast when we're in the right season in summer. Um, but this is about exponential growth, huge growth massive growth that is a new beginning oh and there's another card underneath it here and now it is the time is now right here right now you are growing this is the right time don't delay don't procrastinate don't put it off let's do it let's step into this new beginning that is waiting for us virgo all right my lovely people check out i'll put it up here your money and career readings which are for february as well if you haven't seen them and if you haven't already and you enjoyed this reading do consider subscribing it's completely free and it really does help my channel to grow so thank you so much and i will see you next time you take care lots of love bye bye